In this video, we will be reviewing the operation and use of the aircraft diagnostic and maintenance system, the centralized interface between the aircraft and maintenance technician for the PC-12NG aircraft. The remote terminal function, interface, and connection was previously outlined in part one of this presentation. First, we will review the maintenance message function in usage for fault isolation. Select the maintenance messages from the CMC remote terminal main menu. The active maintenance messages function should be utilized for assistance in troubleshooting active or hard faulted items and their associated cast messages. In this example, we are noting an MMDR1 caution cast message. Select the drop down for the MMDR cast message and select the CMC active fault associated. Note the fault name, possible LRU at fault listed, as well as the fault code associated. This fault code may be used in conjunction with the Honeywell flight line maintenance manual for the Pilatus PC1247E to assist in fault isolation. Next, we will review the maintenance message time order view function. Select the time order view function, then the applicable date range for fault inquiry. The time order view can be utilized to review log faults in a selected date range to assist in fault isolation for intermittent or previously logged faults. Note the faults in bold white text enunciate an associated cast message that was visible to the flight crew. For this example, we are troubleshooting a number two transponder fail cast message that was previously reported on February 20th and has since cleared. Note the number two transponder fail caution logged on 220 and the related stored maintenance message. Select the stored maintenance message Note the possible LRUs at fault as well as the fault code that should be used to determine fault in conjunction with the Honeywell Flight Line Maintenance Manual for additional troubleshooting guidance. Next, we will review the system diagnostic selection. Note the ATA selections available in system diagnostics. In this example, we will continue with the number two transponder discrepancy and as previously recommended by the noted fault in the flight line maintenance manual, we will conduct the number two transponder status check. In this example, the number two transponder passed the status check but the LRU may be swapped with the number one side for additional monitoring and fault isolation. Continuing in system diagnostics, we want to review some non-standard results you may encounter during system tests and note these results as normal operation for the current CMCF version and aircraft platform. Note, during the AFCS aileron elevator or rudder, rudder servo loaded tests, valid results are only applicable for one test during an aircraft power cycle. Subsequent servo loaded tests during the same power cycle will result in failure of servo response. An additional non-standard test result is noted during the air conditioning environmental control system temperature control valve and flow control valve functional test.
Note the flow control valve end of travel fault will always be present with the current system configuration and should not be utilized as a legitimate indication of a flow control valve failure. An additional result to note during system diagnostic testing is the AIOPA module reset test. As the central maintenance computer function resides on this module, performing the reset test will result in your CMC remote terminal resetting and failing connection. There is a caution displayed in the remote terminal advising of this. And if performed, you will re need to restart your CMC remote terminal program. Next, we will review the extended maintenance function. Member system status selection will allow you to view the current operational status of the associated member systems. This troubleshooting tool is useful to confirm the status of the member systems as being reported by GIO and ASCB data bus. The configuration selection under extended maintenance can be utilized to quickly identify applicable member system LRU part numbers, serial numbers, and current software part number. This tool is useful to quickly confirm LRU information without the need for component removal and visual confirmation. The report selection under extended maintenance provides the ability to download and export aircraft ACMF and FHDB files that can be utilized for trend monitoring, exceedance evaluation, or as an additional troubleshooting tool. Note, the ACMF files may be downloaded as well as cleared, while the FHDB can only be downloaded via the report selection and must be cleared via the setting selection in remote terminal as outlined in the PC-12NG aircraft maintenance manual chapter 45. The final selection in the CMC remote terminal is the data loader selection. The DLS tool provides the ability to load required system software as well as recurrent database loading. The data loader function will be covered in detail in subsequent presentations. This concludes our presentation on CMC remote terminal usage and tips for the Pilatus PC-12 NG aircraft.